Hello guys, hope you guys can see me from the camera. I hope this works. All right, I've got here, like I said before, I was doing, I was going to do a, a video on Amplitude 4. In this case, using, um, I'm going to use the Fender uh, Twin Reverb Amp. There's, um, since most of you guys who don't have the full version, I don't know which amp, uh, if, if it brings in any Fender or not, but right now, if I go here, I have the full version and I have all these fend Fenders to choose from. I want to start with this uh, Twin Reverb, the, probably the most uh, not known but used amp, amp and um, try to get some crunchy sounds out of it using pedals. So if you guys already know how this works, you got tuner on the left, um, you can leave this on or off. I don't know if my guitar is tuned or not. But that's not the point right now. It can, mute, it can mute the sound so you don't hear it. Then if you follow this arrow, then you have stomp, again stomp, then amp, then insert, kind of a loop effects. Then the cabinet, which is being used right now. It's a fender from the, the, the amp itself with two microphones. I got here an SM57 and this one looks like a condenser, um, I don't know, uh, from Neumann probably, I don't, I really don't know. And then there's, uh, you can choose the microphones, of course, the cabinet and uh, the speaker itself. I'm going to leave this as it is for now. Um, and uh, the, the, the balance between the microphones is 50-50, so okay, let's leave it that. And then you have also rack, where you can load your effects like chorus, flanger, delay. Uh, you guys can see everything well, uh, etc. So ba back to the amp. Uh, you got basic controls here like bright, volume, treble, middle, bass, reverb, speed, intensity for vibrato and the on and off switch. Uh, down here have noise gate uh, with release and depth settings and then this is for the other models and the master. Right now I'm using my Fender Strat on the bridge pickup. which is a, with a good sign, signal here, not very loud. And um, I'm going to take, a, this is a crunch sound and then roll back the volume on the guitar to have a clean sound again. So you have to test this with pedals. And there's a bunch of pedals you can choose from, especially if you have amplitude for the full version. Uh, it brings a reverb here, sort of um, like a Fender reverb. Sounds very realistic. You can hear the slap like in a in a in a spring reverb. All right, I'm going to switch it off for now. Using I'm the reason I'm using Logic. Here is because you can use uh, amplitude in standalone mode, but um, using Logic or any other DAW, you have um, more control, not just for the amp, but uh, you can add some EQ, you can add effects, um, you know, outside of the amp, uh, and you can gain from that. Anyway, let's start here with the volume, a little louder. Also the bright knob here. Let's turn it off for now. And now let's go to stomp boxes and I'm going to choose um, the one everyone knows from amplitude, distortion, and it's called where it is overscream. Alright, which basic basically is like um, a tube screamer. And the general settings for this stuff is like this: no drive, maximum level, tone, in between. But right now we don't have yet um, distortion for a lead sound. It tight tightens up the sound, but no distortion yet. So we got to go a little further with that, with the pedal, and try to mess around with the drive knob. Okay, it starts with the start thing. You can see here on the metering. So it got to roll back a little bit the volume. 
I got a stomp. The tone is right, like uh, it, it works like this way, more edgy and more close for the for the left. And I'll leave it here in between. Now back to the amp, a little louder. It's clipping. It's nothing to fancy, nothing to worry about. More distortion. Of course, uh, this is a, a very clean amp, so you have to dial up more distortion in order to have some distortion, not like a high gain amp. So. You got already a lot of distortion, but maybe it's not enough for solos, you know? Also depends on the guitar you're using. If you're using pickups, you will have more uh, unbuckers. You'll have more, of course, you're using pickups. You'll have more distortion with unbuckers. For a lot of people, this is enough. Depends. And it's very subtle because um, when increase the gain well, up to the maximum, level also and uh, even with the picking attack to the maximum I'm using a um, I don't know what pick this is but it's really heavy and uh, if you're using if you're really uh, picking hard but if you pick soft you almost don't need to dial back the volume but let's try that and uh, let me add just some effects here on the, um, on the rack. I'm going to add um, first a delay. Not like this. I'm going to make it uh, bouncing. I don't know where it is. Well, let's say stereo for the sake of it. Just stereo. Dial back this a little bit. Now I'm going to add uh, this great reverb a little bit just and let's see what happens with neck pickup you start to enter in that uh, Gilmer zone like um, sounds very cool very realistic If I need more distortion in this case, I go to Stomp, and there's a pedal here in the complete version from Slash, which is a booster. And uh, as you guys can see, it increases the, 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 um, the tone a lot, the, the volume and the distortion. Let's check out this. Change the pedal order. If you don't have the booster, you can go and use amplitude and probably <clears throat> use another overscream. Why not? Let's try it out. Okay, so one is doing the classic layout and the other one is full up. The two together sound like this. It's not really anywhere you can use two, two screamers in this case. So we're getting some noise. So we're going here on noise gate. And voila. Uh, adjust the taste and adjust so it doesn't cut your, your notes when you're sustaining. Sounds good. I'm gonna roll the volume back. It's on the neck pickup. Second position. And 
Men ja. possible the amp responds like a real amp <clears throat> the software I mean um, because it can roll off the volume and have all that um, shiny pristine fender type type sound of course you can adjust more stuff around here uh, inside the, the, the software if you want to know more about what you, what you can do basically with microphones and placing them in different places it's gonna sound different uh, just leave me a comment below and I'll do a video about that I'm gonna. This video is just about the, this Fender um, because of the time I have Fender 66 oh twin reverb, right? And uh, 65 twin reverb and uh, another video I can make with other Fenders and other amps. Just leave me a comment below what you wanna know. Hi guys, just a quick recap. Uh, I have uh, had some issues with the camera uh, because I have one of those Canon. It's a really old one. It's kind of shitty sound and shitty images and I usually don't curse but I'm really upset because I was making a video using my iPhone but something went wrong with QuickTime so uh, I'm just making this small video to apologize for that and the next one will be uh, perfectly fine I hope so uh, thank you for watching once again cheers